Hey guys, before we get into the hunt and stuff tonight, just want to take a minute, talk about old Molly. A lot of you guys have uh, seen the video that we posted. It's one of them freak accidents that happened in the in the kennel. Um, there's about six to eight inches of space above the fence, between the roof and the fence. She climbed up and got her collar hung on it, and uh, that's why we found her Wednesday. Uh, so, you know, you hate it, but, uh, you know, we'll just remember the good times we had with her and uh, go from there. But uh, we appreciate all the support, all the friends, all the uh, fellow coon hunting buddies. Um, we just appreciate all the kind words. Hey guys, Carl, Paint Lick Screaming Kennels. We're out here on Friday night and we're getting ready to load Hobo up. We're going to meet up with our good friend Kenny Rourke. He's going to bring a plot dog, maybe two, don't know yet. Um, we're going to a, to a place that we... Uh, we have uh, kind of leased, uh, but it's a good friend of ours, and uh, hopefully we can put some coons in the tree, show you some eyes. Leaves are on the tree, kind of hard to see them right now, but we're going to do our best. So uh, stay with us, kick back, and uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, before we get into the hunt, guys, I want to give you a, uh, give a shout out to our sponsors, nightlifekennel.com. Uh, if you have any kind of hunting needs, need some supplies, give Nick a call. Go to his website, check out what they have. Um, also, um, JC Calls, if you're in a market for a coon squall, uh, check out what they have to offer. You can get it customized or you can get a plain one. But uh, JC Calls and nightlifekennel.com. And also, we want to give a, a shout out to Old Rich Valley Farm. Um, Will and Amy are local people, and they, they live on the farm, and the farm supplies all their needs. So uh, they have great products. Uh, give them a look, uh, oldrichvalleyfarm.com, check out their products, and uh, tell them Carl sent you. We're going to cut them and see what they do, boys. Dogs are struck in, guys. Give you a little listen. Sounding good. Give you a little listen. They still work in this track.
stay tuned. Well, they've, they're still running this track. Uh, they've moved it on out. There's Buck. I don't know if you could hear that. They moved it out about 360 yards. There's Hobo. So, hopefully they'll put it up tree soon. Still driving that track, guys. They've been on it now for for about a half hour. They moved uh, up on the other side. You can hear them a little bit better now. There's Buck. And Hobo. They're about 380 yards. Well, guys, the dogs have pulled up, treed. They're uh, they're about 350-ish yards from us, so we're going to head to them and see what we got. Guys, we're making our way to the dogs. Ain't for sure which way to go yet, but uh, we'll see you at the tree. Guys, we made it to the tree. Bunch of cedars in here. Pretty sure the coon just kept crossing out. Man. But, uh, you know, we're going to get back to the truck and call it a night. We've had fun. But uh, we'll, we'll do it again next time. All right, guys, we made it back to the truck. There's Matthew. There's Kenny. We're going to call it a night. Dogs did good running. Uh, but we got to the tree as a bunch of cedars and we just couldn't see nothing. So we'll try it again another night. Till then, put them up a tree.